Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest Old School. And on the last episode, we were doing our tailoring skill, guys. We got that up from level 1 to level 15 by doing the silk swatches. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and get our tailoring skill up a little bit more by going from level 15 to level 36 by doing uh, raw silk. Mainly the mask, but you can do any of those that you want to do. I'm going to do the mask, though. There is another skill that we're going to do a little bit of, and it's uh, getting our uh, our skill up to level 26 first, or at least close to that, by doing a little bit of patchwork armor. And the only reason we're doing patchwork armor is because I was out there killing, and I got a few of these uh, ruined hides. You can use uh, whether it's wolf, cat, or bear, as long as it's a, a ruined uh, pelt, you can use them or ruin hide. It doesn't really uh, matter when it comes to pelts and hides. They're kind of interchangeable with each other. So you need one of these uh, sewing kits, whether it's small, large, or you can use the loom. You're going to need some uh, patterns as well. Now you can use uh, belts, boots, tattered cap, cloak, tattered gloves, tattered gorget, mask, pants, shoulder pads, sleeves, tunic, and uh, the wrist pad or wristband I should say or the bracer you can use any of those patterns right there to go ahead and make this item so we're going to go ahead and try the glove and the gorget because they're right here in front of us I'm going to buy uh, let's see three of those and three of the gorgets uh, just to go ahead and try those out let's see how many of these do I have uh, we got three six so I can buy one more item let's try the pant one and we'll just buy one of those just to go ahead and try that out and of course remember if you make the item you actually get the item then you'll have to sell it or find some space for it okay so we got those set up just the way we want let's go ahead and grab that last one from inside of our inventory over here let's see grab those uh all three of them put them in there now the uh, pelts and things of that sort can be changed you can get a higher level pelt and make it lower level by using a skinny knife Let's go ahead and combine those, and we succeeded right there. And you can see that now I am level 16 in my tailoring skill. Do not expect to make each and every single one of these, because like I said, it goes up to level 26 on the skill. So right there we failed. We want to put one of these patterns in here along with the... Yeah, so we failed on that one as well. But our skill does have a chance to go up even if we fail. There we go. We got some pants out of that. Let's put these in here. And I will, of course, show you. There we go. So we got one of the pants, it's 4AC, we got one of the uh, the Gorks, or Gorget, and we got one of the uh, gloves. You guys can look at those stats right there if you want why I do this. But again, you can do this at a low level. You don't necessarily have to be a high level to start making this stuff. So as long as you're killing these wolves and you're getting the pelts, you can go and make yourself some armor out of that. Now that's the highest we can get up to, level 20 because that's all the pelts that we have. But if you wanted to, if you had more of it, you get up to level 26 doing those the items right there. However, those aren't the ones that we're going to keep doing. We're going to go all the way up to level, uh, well, from level uh, 15 to level 36. So we got a little bit more going into our way. So we're going to go get some uh, raw mask in here. There it is, the mask pattern. I'm going to go ahead and buy 20 of them. They're pretty cheap. That's going to cost me five silver, two copper, uh, for each one and it's going to cost me one platinum and four silver for the whole stack so it does cost a little bit of money but not too much you're going to make more money in the end if you sell these items to her let's see okay so that one's there let's see where are all my silk swatches not on that one there we go okay so we got our silk swatches there we got this over here and let's open up our sewing kit i really want to find a large sewing kit Okay, so we're going to need one silk swatch and one pattern. Go ahead and hit the combine button, and there you go. You got your new little item right here, raw silk mask. Those are really, really nice for casters at low level because, again, if you're not rich and you're not uh, you know, going to be a twink character, you're just starting out for the very first time, this is definitely something you can do fairly easy. Spiders are usually low-level creatures. You can get uh, spider silk pretty uh, common in some zones and so you can sit here and work on this skill and get it up pretty fast i mean 26 didn't take too long to do i think a combination of this video and the next one maybe 15 20 minutes once you're working on your skill and you have the ingredients getting the ingredients is going to be the slow part for you but again that's not too difficult to do if you're just uh, killing the same creatures for experience 
Let's put that back down. You want to hold down the control button. Now, we cannot go up any higher yet. Oh, yeah, we can. We go to 36. I keep forgetting that. So let's keep going up a little bit more. We got 10 more points to go. We're going to have to sell some of these items. Now, I will be making more of these items for the giveaway. So if you're a caster out there and you're just starting out, don't worry, guys. There's plenty of it to go around. I have tons and tons of spider silk, and I can always get more. So that's not going to be a thing. Okay, so you guys aren't going to give me any more stuff. That's fine, because I don't really have any space to put it down anyways. Uh, we'll put that there, and let's go ahead and sell real quick. Get rid of some of these items. Three gold, one silver, one copper for each one of these things. Now, that's going to vary depending on your charisma, as well as the faction of the town that you're in. So if you're not liked very much, or if you are very, very liked in that town, you're going to get a slightly different price. Now, remember, there's several NPCs inside town, and some of them have higher or lower prices based off of their own faction. So even if everybody in that town really, really loves you, that NPC may not. And he may only give you decent prices rather than good prices. However, you can do the exact opposite and find somebody in that town who really, really loves you, why everybody else hates you. And usually that's going to be the people of your guild. If you're a cleric and you go to the cleric guild, those people are usually going to like you a little bit more than any other of the guilds in that house, or that town, I should say. And there we go, level 36 on that one. Let's go ahead and sell these real quick, get those out of the way. Now the next set of stuff we're going to be doing, and we're not going to be doing it on this episode. This is going to be a very quick kind of little tutorial on how to get from each of the different tiers is going to be cured silk. Cured silk is pretty easy to do. All you need is uh, the mass pattern yet again. You need a silk swatch and then you need some heady cola. Heady cola can be made. We already done the uh, the brewing skill before. I've shown you guys where that is. Uh, all we need is one bottle, two packets of uh, keola sap, which you can buy, and one water flask. So those are not hard items to, to get. It uh, becomes trivial at level 46 on your brewing skill. So you can see how a lot of them kind of interact with each other. Again, if you don't have that skill yourself, you can always buy it from another player. That's always a, a little thing that you can do. Now, that's going to get you up to uh, trivial at 82. So that's going to be there for a little while. You're going to go 36 to 82. That's the best way to do it. And from 82 to 88, go to handmade backpacks. And that's what we're really looking forward to getting to. So again, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. If you do enjoy these little tutorial videos, definitely hit that little like button, subscribe. Helps the channel grow more than you will ever know. And I definitely appreciate all the comments that you guys are leaving below. So I want to hear your stories on which skills that you prefer, which ones uh, do you not like the most, and uh, do you find these, these little videos helpful? Do you like them? Again, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time.